Hey, my name is Steve Yallo. I'm a travel vlogger from the United States, and this is episode one of a brand new series where I take you all around the beautiful country of Sri Lanka. Whether you're planning a trip here yourself and want an inside look for some juicy travel tips, or you're not planning on coming here and just want to see what it's like right now, or maybe you're Sri Lankan and want to see a foreigner experience your home country, but wherever you are in the world, I want to bring you along on this exciting adventure. I also do want to mention how I'm traveling around Sri Lanka in a pretty unique time. I landed in this country about two weeks after the attacks that happened on Easter. So with this series, I want to show you what it's really like to travel here and give you an inside look that the mass media does not capture. And this series is also going to be really interesting because I'll be experiencing two very different styles of travel. For the first 10 days, I'll be with a group of other creators on a trip organized by the Sri Lanka Tourism Board. We start our trip in Colombo but quickly head up north to the city of Jaffna which many tourists don't normally visit so I'm really excited to bring you here first. We continue our trip visiting some iconic places like Lion Rock in Sigiriya, sacred temples in Kandy, tea plantations near New Aurelia, and even rafting in Kitugala. After this group trip with the tourism board, I'll be switching it up completely and traveling solo on my own for two and a half weeks. I'll rent a tuk-tuk and drive myself around in more of a budget-friendly backpacker style of traveling, more off the beaten track, first going down south, then traveling up through the hill country, and finally ending on the east coast. And now, like any great travel series, it's time to roll the intro. So our adventure in Sri Lanka begins in the airport and I am all ready to go. I just stocked up on some cash. There's multiple places here where you can either exchange currency or there's ATMs. And I also have a SIM card with a company called, uh, hold on one sec. It's right around this corner. It's called <laughs> Dialogue. I heard that was the best company to use. This guy recommended it right here. Introduce yourself, go. man. Hey guys, I'm Jerry. So on this trip, there's gonna be a lot of other creative people. This is one of them right here, Jerry. And this is... Hi, are you me from Japan? Yeah, so cool. So nice to meet you. Very excited to be here. Let's get it started. Real quick, let's introduce everyone else on this trip. outside it is now our first time on the streets here in Sri Lanka time to go explore let's go for a walk Crossing the road in Sri Lanka, here it is, okay. <laughs> All right, we made it across the street. That was just a little quick glimpse of what the city life is like here in Sri Lanka. Very busy, very hectic, but a lot of fun. We made it inside the room. This place is beautiful. So cozy, so comfy. I get my own big, comfortable bed. All right, guys, I am going to get some rest because I'm very tired. Tomorrow morning, we have to wake up before 5 a.m. because we're getting on a train and going to a really cool place. So I'm very excited to take you along for this entire journey. But for now, I'm gonna get some rest. So I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Peace.
All right, all right. We have made it on the train. We're on our way to Jaffna. How long is this? Hey, how long is this train gonna take? Five to eight hours. Five to eight hours? <laughs> That's a big gap. One to 17 business days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be there sometime later today. It's a bumpy ride, but nice train. Air conditioned, and there's really not that many people on it. And we get a view out the window of what it looks like here in Sri Lanka. After about a six hour train journey, we just arrived in Jaffna. We're gonna go to a hotel now, I think. We're gonna go see the fort. No, hotel and then fort. Hotel, then fort, then food somewhere in there. Let's go explore. So we did take the train here today, but we actually have this guy right here who drove all the way up from Colombo so he can drive us around in this van for the rest of the trip. So we got a van. What, 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 what? Van, so everybody packed up into one van. Yeah, there's another <laughs> van over there. We have separation anxiety. <laughs> but everyone just wants to be together. <laughs> we so sweet. The fam trip. So with the crew all in one van, we set out to explore Jaffna Fort. And this place has a pretty interesting history and was even used fairly recently. It was originally built by the Portuguese in 1619, then rebuilt and expanded by the Dutch in the second half of the 18th century. It's the second largest fort that remains intact on the island, and don't worry, later in this series I'll show you the largest. Jaffna Fort was in a perfect state of preservation until the country's civil war that erupted in the mid-1980s. The fortifications and buildings within it were severely damaged due to artillery fire. There was a church erected in 1706, and it was one of the most impressive architectural works of the northern region. Unfortunately, after the civil war, it was destroyed, and this is what it looks like now. Pretty interesting, when you come up close, you could tell the wall is made from coral stones. And we're right by the sea, so it makes sense that they used the materials they had available to build a strong wall. And that is so strong, it actually just kind of hurt my hand. <laughs> After wandering around the fort for a while, the sun was getting low, so we went to the shore to enjoy a nice sunset. Got back in the van after checking out a somewhat of a sunset. It was back a really beautiful golden hour. Yeah, that was nice. And we're back in the van. Back in the van. Have you guys been having a good time today? Back in the van. <laughs> Benny, back in the van. Back in the van. Uh, back in the van. Guys. Anyway, we're going back to the hotel right now. <laughs> Feeling fun. Oh. Oh. All right, amigos, it is time for me to go to sleep. I'm so tired. I'll see you guys in the morning. Peace. Good morning guys, we are still in the city of Jaffna and we are going to the port today. We're gonna get on a boat and go to a beach, but first we're gonna go check out a fish market. And I can already smell it. I wish I can give you some smell-o-vision, but whew, smells fishy. Let's go check it out. Alright guys, we made it on the boat. We're gonna 
head to our private beach resort now. No, I don't know. I actually don't know where we're going, but we're going to find out very soon. with my people. Thanks Here you are, my waiting. friend. Stay alive. <laughs> <laughs> so we're leaving the boat on this side of the island, but they're telling us that about a kilometer away is a more swimmable area. So we're going to go trek across the island to go there. Look, we found uh, uh, deer poop. Deer poop? So beautiful. We're going to eat some deer poopy. <laughs> 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 this heat is driving me crazy! Uh, it's so hot! It's so dry! I don't know if I'm gonna make it! Ah. side of the island, get back on the boat, go back to Jaffna. So we'll see you there. Ooh. So today we're getting a little local experience. There's a bazaar here in Jaffna, some local markets. So we're going to explore the local life here and meet some people who want to sell us things. You want the orange, apple, grapes? I don't know. Hey, nothing for now. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Can I take a photo? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Since we are here at the bazaar in Jaffna and there are a lot of options for clothing, I think it's time we try to look a little bit more local and see if we can find some new outfits today. Steven's gonna go really well doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we found a nice dress for Pema. What is the name of this? Batik. Batik? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have a batik for Pema. And now a saram for me, which is traditional for men to wear instead of pants. Like this. Like <laughs> Okay. You have to have your blogger hat on, your adventure hat on the whole time. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. This? Aye, okay. okay. And now what? Is this tuck? Nice! Ta-da! <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> he looks so Sri Lankan. <laughs> Like this. Yeah. Okay, same, <laughs> same, same, same. <laughs> same. How do we look? Nice. Hey. hey. We switched up the color. They said this one's a little bit smaller, but I don't know. I think it looks fine. What do you guys think? Do, walk. Look, do a little catwalk. <laughs> All right. We just purchased our first Sri Lankan outfits. Pema's cost 2000 they gave us a discount. Is it rupee? It's I'm not sure. Rupee, right? That's the money? Rupee. 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 Yeah, rupee. Yeah. 2,000 rupees. And this one costs 900 rupees. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah so. Good. Good deal. Good deal. Yeah. <laughs> USA. 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 Yeah. Looking for a... Uh, a shirt. He wants to wear shirt. something that will match with uh, this. Shirt? A shirt, yeah. Yeah. Batik shirt. A button shirt. shirt. Alright guys, I think I found a shirt. Even though my arms are busting out of the seams. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> it's okay. I really like how this shirt doesn't have a collar. It's really unique for this style of button-up, but I think I'm going to go with this one. Nice. 
Okay, guys, Steve has found his outfit that he likes. I think he looks very dashing in it. And we are making our purchase. Steve's trying to haggle. You can do this? 200. I don't have any more. All right, after some brief negotiations, I haggled that guy down from, I think it was supposed to be nearly 2,000 rupee. Got him down to 1,200, so got a shirt and top for about, uh, what is it, 2,100 rupee? Not too bad. Hello. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go meet up with the rest of the crew and show them our new outfits. So after getting some new outfits at the bazaar, Pema got an even newer outfit. She's gonna be our little chef. We just came to a place called Tilko Hotel and we're gonna learn how to make a very famous dish here in Jaffna called crab curry. We just learned... What's this? Fun fact. Fun fact. Fun fact. Did you know that the Maldives gets a lot of its seafood from Jaffna? It's imported from here. So that's how you know the quality is a... Yeah, so apparently they have some very nice seafood here. So I'm excited to try. <laughs> Here we go. We got our seafood stew made by the ladies. Yeah, like and that. if it's not good, we know who to blame. <clears throat> Alright guys, moment of truth. <laughs> We're gonna try the crab curry stew. Mmm, this is delicious. <laughs> I'm gonna get a piece of shrimp and crab in here. This is no pork. Okay. This is from Jeff. Ah, it's a little spicy. <laughs> it's all. Mm. It's actually very good. Good job, ladies. You passed. Mm. 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 You need to listen to your voice. Ancient sauce, please. After some delicious crab curry, we set out for our final evening in Jaffna to some Hindu temples. We took a quick stop at this colorful masterpiece called Nagaswaram or something like that. Sorry, I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly. But anyway, this place is beautiful. So we are actually not inside the temple right now. We're outside at the gate. Um, you can't photograph or videotape inside. And our friend Ayumi, she said, I think I'm going to go inside to play. But she really went in to pray. Because she's Japanese, so the R's don't always happen. <laughs> So we're like, oh, she's gonna go in and play? Okay, anyway, yeah, so we're waiting for her and then we're gonna go to a sacred pool. So we just came to a very sacred pool or pond and legend has it that many years ago, a woman walked in front of Shiva, who's a god, as he was praying. So to punish her, he put a curse on her that turned her face into one of a horse. So she traveled all the way from India to here to bathe in this pool and went to the nearby temple to pray and that fixed her face. So locals believe that this pool right here has healing properties. So it's very sacred, so people come here from all around the world to bathe in this pool and locals just like to come and play like the kids are doing right now. So as you can see, I'm a little wet. I took a little dip, so I'm feeling very healed. And now we're gonna take some photos and enjoy our time here. Oh, I got hair on my face, but you know what else I got on my face? Is a beautiful sun reflection of this sky. The sky is such a pretty color right now. Oh, look at that. And cut. So that is a little inside look as to what it's like to travel around Jaffna in the north of Sri Lanka. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Next up, we're gonna be visiting an area called Sigiriya, and I'll give you a little preview in a minute of what that's gonna be like, but for right now, I want to ask you to leave some feedback. So if you can drop a comment down below, let me know what you thought of this episode, what you liked, what you didn't like, and also, would you travel to Sri Lanka? Really curious to hear your thoughts about this. And if you made it this far, if you are still watching, thank you so much. If you could share this with someone, I'd really appreciate that. Share it with a friend, family, on Facebook, Instagram, text somebody, wherever. That would, that would really help me out a lot. So 
I'd appreciate that. And if you're not already, click that subscribe button and drop a like, that thumb down below. And that's it, that's all I ask from you guys. I really appreciate it. And here's a little preview of what's coming up next in episode two. So unfortunately, at this time, here in Sri Lanka, all drones are banned, so we're not allowed to fly. But, instead of flying our drones, we're going to fly ourselves. And we are about to walk up a very famous place here called Lion Rock. Alright guys, we are in our vehicle, it is time for a safari! 